Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is uh, doing good through this whole COVID-19 situation. It's been kind of stressful for me um, through this process. I will admit I'm going a little crazy. I have actually been alone, alone since the lockdown incident. Um, uh, my son was uh, at his dad's for the entire week of March break and then the COVID-19 situation happened so he just stayed there longer if he wanted to and I live by myself without him so I've been like alone alone but I've been keeping myself sane by you know playing video games, watching documentaries, and sewing. More so with gaming than sewing. And as one of the projects I have been working that I'm very excited to show you guys is I'm going to show you how to make a little boxed dice bags. These have been asked numerous of times from local customers and my table partner who's been like telling me for the last two years is make dice bags. I really love the box shaped dice bags like this where you know I just I, the design is simple it's easy and it looks like a little bag without anything in it and it sits proper on your table so I have made quite a few with the fabric flying around that I'm trying to get rid of because I'm just accumulating all this fabric in my house and I just kind of slowly want it to go but these dice bags are simple uh, I have revamped mm, a little bit of someone else's design, uh, but there's a lot of tedious sewing, uh, but I think it's recommended with the um, tutorial and the outcome has been spectacular. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so for the size of my dice bag, you'll need a six by five square and make sure of the little rectangle is 90 degrees square with the square itself. You can easily set this up with uh, two pieces where you can have a seam at the bottom or cut on a fold at the bottom. But for this, we're gonna cut two pieces of outer fabric and two pieces of lining. But if you are gonna cut this piece on a fold, make sure to add another half an inch on each side of the square, just so that when you do have those seamed together, they will match perfectly on the fold for the box look. What you will be needing for this project is a lighter for your cords, cotton fabric or any other fabric that does not have any stretch, and a sewing machine of course. For this project I am going to be using this a galaxy fabric that I've had lying around the house for the last 4 or 5 years and this is all I have left of it. It just needs to go. Pin your pattern piece to the fabric. And repeat the process for the lining. For stitching, on the outer fabric, we're going to sew at the bottom, left and right sides. For lining, we're going to sew the sides and a little bit on the bottom corners, leaving the lining to have an opening. All seams half an inch. Once you have finished that, turn your lining inside out as well as the outer fabric. I'm going to explain the next step the best way I can. Next you're going to open the seam inside of the fabric and we're going to stitch down, pivot at the bottom and then we're going to stitch back up. This is what I'm talking about. At the bottom, you're going to stop there, pivot and then pivot again and go right back up. Turn your fabrics inside out. Then you're gonna pinch open the bottom corners and lay them flat with the end seam. Kind of like you're matching up your seams. And then pin. For stitching, it is gonna be half an inch and the goal is to go over that box line at the bottom. Do this as well with the lining.
And voila, that seam is now hidden away. Make sure the lining is wrong side out. Now put your outer fabric inside the lining. Match side seams together. And once they are matched, you're going to pin. This is just my preference, but I pinned between the right sides so that the fabric does not shift when I'm sewing it down. You can do a quarter of an inch seam or you can do half an inch seam. And you're going to sew around the opening. My camera did not record the next part, but when you're done sewing all the way around, push the outer fabric out of the opening of the lining. And now we're gonna close that opening part in the lining. I recommend a quarter of an inch. And now push the lining into the bag itself and wiggle around to match it up at the bottom and then pin at the side seams and also in the middle so it doesn't shift when you're doing a top stitch. Your top stitch is gonna be part of the bag closure. So you can have your stitch line close to the opening or you can have it a little further down from the opening. Your second line should be either an inch or an inch and a quarter away from your first line, no less than an inch. You want enough space for your safety pin and for your cord or string or whatnot. Grab your seam ripper on your side seams. Between the two lines, you're gonna pop out the stitch to make an opening, but only on the outer fabric. Try not to get your lining. If you get your lining, that's okay. You're only gonna feed your cord on the outer fabric. You're gonna grab a safety pin, make sure it's a small one, not a, and for this size of this dice bag, you're gonna need to cut four pieces, 15 inches long. Grab two out of the four pieces of cording and put your safety pin through both pieces. It doesn't matter which, it doesn't matter which side seam, just put your safety pin through one of the openings and you're gonna snake that safety pin through the bag to the other side seam opening. Grab one cord from one side, put a safety pin through that cord and put that through the opening of the side that you grab that cord from. Snake it to the other side. So with the cord that you just snaked through, tug it to see which cord goes with it and then tie those into a knot. The knot should not be too close to the bag nor too close to the end of the cord. Grab the single cord and put the safety pin through that and then feed it through the opening and snake it to the other side and then put those into a knot. And that is how I made these adorable little box dice bags. I hope you guys liked it and understand it a lot better. Um, and I plan on making a little bit more of a few craft items around the house, especially for the COVID-19. Uh, for instance, I just made these little masks for my friend and her daughter and I put it on Instagram and now people who know me are like, make me one. I'll probably be making a video on how I make a simple mask for you guys at home. Unfortunately, they don't have any filters, but they're good just to, you know, protect your mouth. If you guys liked my video of how I made all these glorious box dice bags, please give this video a nice like. And if you guys wanna follow me and my other social media accounts, all the links are down below in the description box as well. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more content I will be releasing 
uh, in the next several weeks, um, such as making the face mask or surgical mask is whatever you call it and possibly more gaming stuff uh, I, I I don't know how um, to the new followers who are following me on here thank you so much for subscribing uh, was not expecting so many new subscribers uh, from my Final Fantasy 7 video I was just simply wanting to uh, upload my favorite game of all time and the crazy emotion that I went through while playing the demo but again thank you so much for subscribing and I hope to be releasing um, every playthrough when it is released which is April 10th unless they decide to push it back which they might uh, I'm not sure so anyways thank you guys so much for watching I greatly appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video bye